Oh, hello, creepy camera in my pantry. <laughs> yeah. Today, we're going to be doing a pantry tour. There's empty space on our shelves. Looks like it's time to go to Costco. On. Good. Good. I don't go anywhere without a flashlight, a knife. You know what they say. A knifeless man will be a lifeless man. Links below for my favorite everyday carry items. We are off to Costco, and when we get back, we're gonna give you a tour behind the scenes of our family's pantry. How we feed the family of six. The dog. Dog. We're gonna let the dog out. We got a request for a pantry tour. This is the first house I've lived in where they have a pantry already. The washer and dryer were in here, but there was no shelving. So I took some of the lumber we had milled off of the property, got some heavy duty brackets from Home Depot, screwed it all together. So these are super, super heavy duty shelves. And they didn't cost very much to put in. Essentially my method of organization is the most breakables go on the top because I don't want the baby reaching them. So all my canned things I can, the apple cider vinegar I made, honey we have, tomato sauce, my dad's famous salsa he makes every year. Important stuff, top shelf. That's the good stuff. That's why they call it top shelf. That is why they call it top shelf. Then in these plastic bins that I originally got to hold the kids' toys, I have canned goods from the store, coconut milk, beans, grains, rice, because then I can just pull it down like this and look for what I need. I find that if it's all just grouped on the shelf together, a lot of stuff will get lost, piled on top of each other, and it's harder to find. Middle shelf is all my baking things. Extra flour, sugar, oatmeal, powdered milk. This half of the middle shelf I save for snacks. That way the older kids can come in if they want a snack, they can see what we have, they can ask for it, they can grab it themselves. But still it's out of reach of the baby. Bottom shelf is a little darker, so I keep my kombucha brewing in there. It needs to be in a darker spot, that's perfect for it. favorite additions this year to the pantry has been the milk fridge. What's in there? When Ladybug first freshened and we were milking twice a day, we were getting three or four gallons a day before Luna could keep up. <laughs> Our normal fridge couldn't hold it, so we brought up a different fridge we keep in the basement and we put that in here, but a full-size fridge in here was just too big. This was one of the best gifts I could have gotten to help with our milking experience. I actually think it's a beer fridge or a wine fridge. I love it for the milk though because in the mm. fridge we use every day, the kids wow. are opening it, the milk doesn't get as cool as quickly and it also warms up a lot more with the kids opening the fridge so much. The kids never come into this fridge 
The milk stays cool and we can store eggs. The friend's clear, which makes it easy to see how much milk we have. If I need to make any cheese or anything. The most important part in That's how you're gonna come in? Yeah. Like you've been doing this the whole time. The most with me? important. <laughs> Where did you come it from? It would be better if I popped out of the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to fit in there. Ooh, it's dull. I don't think so. Open! <laughs> oh, <bend. laughs> what do you do? That's what I do. A really nice thing to have in our pantry is a chest freezer. Because once again, the upright fridge just doesn't hold enough meat. <laughs> I'm trying to look natural here. I'm just gonna smooth that in here. The chest freezers are a great addition to any pantry because they're super efficient. All the coldness stays down in them. When the- You can turn that off. When the power goes out, like it did in that video, which you can watch, uh, chest freezers, if you leave them closed and they're full, everything in the freezer will stay for a couple days. So they're a much better option than uprights. If you wanna store a lot of meat, get yourself a chest freezer and fill it with all the farm fresh goodness that you have. What's in ours? What's in ours? In these you'll find venison from deer that we killed, sausage from pigs that we raised, bacon from our pigs, steaks from our pigs, chickens from our pigs. We usually have some grass-fed beef in here that we've either traded or been gifted from uh, family. Our guilty pleasure. And of course, only free-range grass-fed frozen pizza. Seriously though, you can't beat Costco pizza. It's like eight dollars for four pizzas. Thanks for joining me for the freezer. <laughs> All right, I gotta go chop up some kiwi for the little guy. Hope you enjoyed the pantry tour. If you like our videos, I really do have to give him kiwi, so I'm gonna go do that now. Oh, come on, come on, good ball. If you enjoy our daily videos and you want to help us keep doing daily videos, you can do that without spending an extra dime. When you're going to shop for things like King Arthur flour, yes, you can buy this on Amazon. But before you head to Amazon, go to amsteady.com. A-M-S-T-E-A-D-Y. It'll forward you to Amazon, buy your baked goods, your kitchen supplies, stock your pantry. It won't cost you a dime extra. But we'll get an affiliate bonus for sending you there and it helps us keep doing this show. So thank you, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Hey, did you remember to tell them about Friday's video? Oh, and on Friday, make sure to subscribe to our email list. I'll put it here uh, or in the description, because on Friday, we have the biggest news that we've ever shared on this channel that we're going to share with you. And if you're on that email list, I will send you an email as soon as that video goes live. We'll see you Friday. How's that? Is that too wordy? That was pretty wordy.